Shalom, praise the Lord. Welcome to a brief Bible reflections. God is good and gracious. Let us continue putting our trust in Him. Isaiah 49. Today we look at verse number 9 and 10a. Verse 9 and 10a. The Bible says, To say to the captives, Come out, and to those in darkness, be free. They will feed beside the roads and find pasture on every barren hill. They will neither hunger nor thirst. Praise the Lord. What an encouragement. Right from verse number 8, we started by saying that this is God himself speaking. And wonder in verse number 8, the verse starts by saying, this is what the Lord says. And as he speaks, he reminds us that he is in the business of restoring his people. In this case, we see that God is able to do great and wonderful things. And because he's talking about what the Messiah would do, he shows us that he has all the power and capacity and capability to do great and wonderful things. Yesterday, we said that all this will happen only by God's power and intervention. His power and ability is able to turn around situations. The captives will be told, come out. Those in darkness will be told, be free. Now in verse number 9b, the Bible talks about a very important thing as well, where the Bible says that they will feed beside the roads. This is provision. God will provide. He will feed us as he restores you and I. He will ensure that we find pasture, actually, uh, the other portion says, and find pasture on every barren hill. Underline the word barren hill. Because God is able to do even things that look so impossible with God, nothing is impossible. Even in barren hills, he's able to provide pasture for his people. And today you may be feeling as though you are just beside the roads. You are walking along barren hills. God is reminding you and I that in his business to restore us as his children, he is such a mighty God. He's able to speak even to the barren hills and provision is availed to his children. Besides the roads, God shows us that even when we think or we can imagine as though nothing good would come out, he is God and God in charge. It doesn't matter where you are. He is faithful. He talks about in verse number 10 that they will neither hunger nor thirst. Total provision. God is such a provider. Put your trust in the Lord. In the business of restoring your life, he will ensure that you will not hunger nor thirst. Release yourself to God. Allow God to lead you. Allow God to walk with you. And doesn't matter whether you are walking beside the road or you're just facing barren hills. He's able to command. He's able to change the situation. You and I, we are called to submit and surrender to God. God who is in charge of our lives. And when we do this, yes, great things will happen. Let us surrender to God. Let us allow God be God in our lives. And as he sets us free, as he tells us to come out and be free, we are also reminded that he is willing and ready to feed us, feeding us even besides the roads. And also when we walk uh, along the barren hills, he is able to provide pasture for you and I. God bless you. God keep you. Have a lovely time. Put your trust in God. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.